So you want to get early access to potential 100x projects on Trustpad, but you don't know how? Well, that's the video for you. What's up? My name is Caroline and this is Wealth in Progress where you'll learn how to make passive income with cryptocurrencies. In one of my last videos, I introduced Trustpad to you, which is a multi-chain launchpad that I have, I have personally invested in. Now, I've got a couple of questions from you guys asking me how you can actually buy Trust T pad so that's the coin for Trustpad. And that's obviously a legitimate question because I forgot to cover that in my last video. So now we'll go over that right now. Just keep in mind, this is no financial advice and Trustpad is a very small cap project, which means it is on the riskier side. Okay, so we're now on the homepage of Trustpad. I'll leave that link in the description so that you can get the right one. And it's actually really simple to buy T-Pad because it has a button on the top. So all you have to do is you have to click on buy T-Pad. But before we do that, one thing you need to know is that you, so you buy T-Pad on PancakeSwap and to do that, you need to have MetaMask Wallet installed. If you haven't done that already, I'll link a video on top of my head that walks you through all of that step by step. So make sure to do that first and then come back to this video. Okay, so if you've got MetaMask wallet install, installed and you've got it connected to PancakeSwap, then you can come back here and click on buy T-Pad. And what it will do is it will connect you automatically to PancakeSwap. And then it will show up a warning that says that this is basically a new token. And so in here, you can already see that this is a riskier project. It's very small cap and it's not the commonly listed ones on PancakeSwap. Now this is totally fine. I have purchased T-Pad about one and a half months ago. So if that's okay for you, you can, you can click on I understand and then click on import. And now what you'll have to do is now you'll have T-Pad on top. So that's like, so if you keep it this way, you will swap T-Pad for something else, but you don't have any T-Pad right now. So you'll click on the arrow and then it basically exchanges the two, the two tokens you've chosen here. So you can choose any, any token on the Binance Smart Chain that you want to exchange. So I often use either BNB or BUSD. Either one where you have a balance on, Meta, on MetaMask Wallet, you can choose that. And then you can decide how much you want to swap. So for instance, we could click on, uh, on Max here. And then you can see how, how many T-pads you would probably get. So for 39 BUSD, I would get about 71 T-pad at the moment. And I'm not sure if the slippage tolerance is already set at 5%. I think I've done that myself because I think normally it's set at 1% and then it won't go through. Not sure what's the reason for that, but it won't go through. So you'll have to change that. You have to click on the settings button here and then change it to 5% and then it will work. So I'll take a smaller amount just to show you. So we'll take five BUSD that will give me nine T pads. We'll click on swap and then you can click on confirm swap. That will move you over to your MetaMask wallet because you'll have to confirm that and pay your gas fees. So we'll do that, confirm. And now it says transaction submitted and you can track it or you can view it on BSC scan or you can just wait for that. And now it's literally 10 seconds later and it says swap uh, for T-pad has been confirmed. So that has gone through and now it is in your MetaMask wallet. Now MetaMask doesn't have the greatest overview so you won't see it in here. What you can do is you can click on uh, view in Explorer and then in here you have the token drop down, and you can click on that and then you see you have um, yeah, 8.8 T-pad, so that's because of the slippage. It's not the exact amount that is estimated first, and you can see the dollar value. Once you've gotten your T-pad, you can choose to either stake it for participation in an IDO. So we'll have, the, we'll have to take a look at the levels first. So you can see these are all the levels. So you've got two lottery, oh, three lottery. They updated that and then a couple of guaranteed ones. So you can choose how much you want to buy, what an allocation you want to have. And then you could either stake it in IDO staking, so that would allow you to participate in upcoming IDOs. And they've got a bunch coming coming up in June, so might be worth uh, to stake in here. You have to decide, decide that for yourself. Currently, I would still have to connect my wallet. That's why it doesn't show up here. If you're not interested in the IDOs, what you can also do is to just farm for more T-pads. So you can click on farm 
and then you either you can either choose LP stoke staking or just TPAT staking. So either way is a great option to earn passive income. You probably get a higher return if you stay if you invest in the IDOs, but that totally depends on each project. But yeah, that's how you buy TPAD and what you can do with it. Now I hope this answers all your questions about how to get TPAD and how it all works. If not, leave another comment in the comment section and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you like this video, hit the like button down below, share with your friends, and be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!